Hello and welcome to Saki Tech. In today's video, I will show you guys how to unroot your Nexus 7 2013 edition as well as how to relock its boot loader. So basically, we will be returning your Nexus 7 2013 edition back to factory stock ROM, which means it will be restored back to the condition when you first bought it. Here are some of the reasons you may want to follow this guide. 1. Unroot your Nexus 7 and relock the boot loader. Fix a bricked Nexus 7. Restore a Nexus 7 that is running a custom ROM back to factory stock. Okay, so the first step is to go and grab all the files that we are going to need to download to complete this task. So go to my website post for which I left a link in the description below, which is going to take you right here. Okay, and then scroll down and look for the title that says required files. Now the first file we need is the factory image for Nexus 7. So click this link right here and from the, this list here you have to make sure you get the correct version of the factory stock image for your Nexus 7. So I happen to have a Wi-Fi version of the Nexus 7 2013 edition so I'm gonna need one of these guys. Okay. If you have a mobile version, then you have to click this. So let me just click this and I'm going to show you where it goes. So that drops down to this section. And the one on the top is the latest available version of the factory stock image. So what you want to do is you want to click the link and that is going to start the download process. Okay. So this is like a 300 megabytes file. So it may take a couple minutes based on your connection speed. Now the other file you need is, go back to my website and under required files, go to the second link which is the Android SDK tools. So click this guy and then go ahead and click the download the SDK. So when you click this, it's going to give you the option to agree to the terms and you can either download 32 bits or 64 bits depending on what kind of computer you're running. So I have a 64 bit PC and that's the file I need. So just click download and wait for the download to complete. Okay, so once you have downloaded all the files, what you can do is just to keep everything clean, you can move them into one folder. So I created a folder. I have a couple folders here, but I created a subfolder under my Nexus 7 2013 files folder called restore. So inside of restore, I have both of the files that we just downloaded. So let's do some cleaning up here and re uh, prepare everything for operation. So this one here is the ADT bundle, the SDK tools. So what we want to do is we want to extract this folder. And I use 7-zip, which is a free utility for extraction. So just click extract to the folder. Takes a couple seconds. Okay, so once the ex extraction is complete, you can delete this zip file and then go into the ADT bundle folder keep digging in go to SDK and then look at this platform tools folder just copy this go back to the main folder and paste it right here and then go ahead and delete this thing okay you don't need these anymore the only thing that we needed off of this ADT bundles folder was the platform tools folder okay so let the deletion complete and once that is complete the next thing is you want to extract this folder this is the factory image that we downloaded so again you can use 7-zip to extract this file so right click go to 7-zip and do extract to the razor folder okay once this is extracted go in and then you need to re-extract the tar file, the .tar file, using 7-zip as well. Okay, so extract to the same folder within a folder. Okay, now go inside this newly created folder and keep going in till you see all these files. What I want you to do is I want you to copy all these or cut them. Cut all these files or copy them. Go back to the root folder which is the restore folder and go into the platform tools folder that you just copied over and paste everything inside here now go back out 
and delete everything except for the platform tools folder now we have all the files we need in this one convenient location okay then go in here and let me switch over to my next and show you what to do and we'll come right back here okay so on your nexus 7 i want you to go ahead and power the device off so press power turn it off And uh, once it's off, what we're going to do is we are going to go into the boot loader mode. You have to press power and volume down at the same time to go into the boot loader mode. So let me do that properly. Volume down and power at the same time. And that brings you to the boot loader mode that you're looking at right now. The next thing you want to do is you want to connect your Nexus 7 to your uh, PC using the micro USB cable and now we can switch back to my computer okay so back on your computer I want you to navigate back to that platform tools folder we just prepared and uh, then what I want you to do is I want you to click shift on your keyboard press and hold it and then right click anywhere within this white space of this folder and then choose open command window here Okay, once you have this command window, all you have to do is type in flash dash all dot bat and then press enter. And if you look at my Nexus, it has restarted. This is actually rewriting the stock recovery image onto my Nexus 7. I'm sorry, the stock, the stock factory image onto my Nexus 7. So it's rebooting right now, and it's going to be completely restored to factory once this process is complete. So let's uh, keep watching. Let me quickly rearrange the windows here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to fast forward this a chunk of this video all the way to the end because it's going to take a while. But basically, the restoration process is in progress. Okay, so it's almost complete here, and there we go. We have a brand new Nexus 7 with a factory stock image right on it. There's one more step we have to do, so let's set this up, and I'm going to tell you what to do next. Okay, the setup is complete, and we have a fresh copy running. Okay, so the final thing you want to do now is you want to relock the boot loader of your uh, Nexus 7 to bring it completely to the way it was when you first bought it. So the first thing I want you to do is I want you to turn off the device, okay? And then we're going to go back into the boot loader mode and basically do the same exact thing. So you press power and volume down at the same time. Keep them pressed until the screen pops up. And there we go. That's the boot loader mode. Okay, so going back to the folder uh, that we used earlier, the platform tools folder, all I want you to do is I want you to press shift on your keyboard, right click on an empty area in the folder, and once again click open command window here. Okay, so once you have this command window, type in fast boot OEM lock. Okay, so that's fast boot OEM lock. And once you press enter, your device is immediately locked. So take a look at the screen. It says locking boot loader, and then it says locking boot loader done. So you are done. Uh, the whole process is complete. You're completely restored to factory stock as if the first day you bought the device. All right, so that brings us to the end of this video. Uh, go ahead and subscribe to my channel for more videos to come. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you liked this video. And also you can go ahead and connect with me socially on Google+, Facebook, and Twitter, for which all the links are in the description below. Thank you again, and I'll see you the next time. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, just throw them down in the comments section below.